Hello. I'm so sorry that that um, first part cut off on me. Um, I was told that I get videos longer than 15 minutes now, but sure enough, if it didn't cut me off right at 15 minutes, so I apologize. So see part one, I was just covering basically um, where I'm at with all my classes. I am also sharing with you some tips and tricks with my um, clinical math and algebra classes, some things that have helped me along the way. Um, some things that um, it's been a long time since I've had math so I just wanted to kind of look back at what was giving me troubles back then and how I kind of figured it out or overcame that and um, so most of it is already shared in my part one video this is part two so I'm going to continue on um, I left off with PEMDAS remembering the order of operations when solving an equation I pretty much said everything I wanted to say about that even though it cut off um, the important stuff was covered I was just showing some basic uh, examples or whatever but um, the next thing I had troubles with was not really troubles but sometimes positive and negatives um, a lot of people lose signs or they're not quite sure which sign goes with what number things like that so I kind of uh, made an example of a number sentence here here's another one and then I have a couple down here um, this is more so when you're going to combine like terms but one thing that helped me was when I was um when I came across a problem like this what you want to remember is that the sign attaches it goes with the number directly behind it so that's a negative 5.2 a positive 6.8 so you're gonna alright so what I would do is um, sometimes more difficult um, I don't have to do this anymore but in the beginning I would just kind of draw a line with my pencil okay and know that um, this negative goes with this 3.9 so like down here 5 minus 3 multiplied by 4 well we know our order of operations you're going to multiply the 3 by the 4 first okay well by doing this that's a negative 3 so negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12 I used to and a lot of people forgot that that sign went with that 3 and uh, they would just do 3 times 4 is 12 no nope, it's a negative 12 okay so I would just kind of that's how that helped me with that so if there's not a sign in front of the number like in the beginning of a num number sentence you know it's a positive okay now along those same lines multiplying and dividing positives and negatives I was like when does it change a, a negative times a negative is a negative no positive no you know, I would forget so this is what I do I would draw a tic-tac-toe sign and do you know that we pee diagonally I know that sounds crude but we do so here's my tic-tac-toe sign and I'm gonna pee diagonally <laughs> you guys are like Robin what are you doing okay so you're gonna do that get it P diagonal now you're gonna fill in the remaining spaces with ends so the P stands for positive and the ends stand for negative some of you are just gonna love me others are gonna be like whatever <laughs> okay so this is how it goes a positive times a negative is a negative a negative times a positive is a negative and a negative times a negative is a positive and it goes with division as well positive divided by a negative is a negative negative divided by a positive is a negative a negative divided by another negative is a positive so remember the tic-tac-toe P diagonal fill in the rest with ends and there you go you're never gonna mess up again hello I always thought that was the coolest thing so it helped me hope that can help you and what else did I want to show you <laughs> I think that was about it um, oh one thing I do want you guys to I just found this out 
I was in clinical math class. And you know what? YouTube also is a great way. If you're stuck on something, math or with any subject, there's so much on YouTube that can really help you out from accredited um, websites or teachers or whatever. And there's different teaching styles on there. So if you click on one and they're kind of monotone or boring, some sometimes that works for people. But there are so much information out there and there's so many different ways of learning math. You can find what works for you, trust me. Um, it's, it's really helped out quite a bit with some things for me. So I, I wanted that, you know, I'm sure you already know that, but I just want to pass that along. YouTube is not just for chit-chatting or beauty and makeup. It's also, there's a lot of learning um, things on there as well. So with that in mind, my clinical instructor, or clinical instructor, I'm not in clinicals. She teaches clinicals. She's my clinical math instructor. <laughs> um, look up, I'm spelling it out for you. Hawk Nurse here on YouTube. I haven't checked it out yet. Um, just found out. Hawk Nurse. Type that in. It is one of our clinical instructors and she does like these little mini videos um, in our lab at school and um, teaches you how to maybe do an assessment or maybe teaches you how to write a, a care plan or maybe teaches you how to take a blood pressure or whatever. Um, I've heard they've been very helpful to people. Um, like I said, I haven't checked it out yet. I'm going to right now. Um, but definitely look that up. Hawk Nurse. Okay. And um, I'm not sure which clinical instructor it is, but it's one. I think it's the same one that goes throughout the videos. So, yeah, I had no clue about that. I thought that was totally neat. So, check it out. Let me know if there's um, something on there that you guys like or that's helped. Um, or is applied to whatever you're learning now. So anyway, I think that is about all I was going to cover for my part two. Um, yeah, I need to get onto homework now. I've been distracted long enough. So anyway, um, it was great to spend some time with you guys. Thank you all so much for your advice on my Who's its video about my stalker? <laughs> um, yeah, saw him again today, so it was, um, you know, he kind of hung around class, but I walked out with some other people, and I know I need to sit down and just have a chit chat with him. But um, some of you brought some humor to the to the uh, tie, brought some humor to that. So, um, but some of you also gave, I mean, you all gave awesome advice, and I thank you for that. Um, I'm just gonna have to put the law down and be a little mean and I don't want to do it but anyway thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers the other day I looked and I was at 250 and that just blows my mind I just started a couple months ago thank you so much I appreciate every single one of you I love the emails you send me I love the comments you leave me whether you comment or not I appreciate you I know when you do comment other people read and it helps out um, they know others are in the same shoes so thank you so much um spread the word if i've helped anybody comment rate and subscribe and i will talk to you all soon have a good day bye